Uh, welcome back to Sorcerer Fed, um, tabletop role playing gaming on Source Fed Nerd. I am your game master, dungeon master host, Joel. I'm Slorm, the Inquisitor. I'm Spricket, the Elf. I'm Gerd. The lizard male. Ma ma uh, male? Ma the lizard ma male. <laughs> um, so, on the previous episode of Soul Sort of Fed, uh, you have been captured by Galgan Moonseer, who it appears has King Havaran of Iridel under a spell. Uh, you were carted off as prisoners to Orcatraz, where you met Snoo Snoo, the weak orc, and his human lover, Hellicent Tough Gal. Um, and maybe because of the bad situation, we don't, we don't know, uh, we got our first look at Dickett, who is Spricket's alter ego. Yes. Sorry about that, guys. Um, despite your bad <laughs> attitude, Snoo Snoo and Hellicent broke you both, uh, broke all three of you out of Orcatraz, and you fought uh, Warden Elvish at the docks to escape to a small orc village on the coast. And in gratitude, Snoo Snoo gave you each a winged snug fuzzly, which mm -hmm. is a flying hell beast. Mm -hmm. uh, and you flew back to the capital city of Iredale, Garrett's Rest, to try and figure out what's going on. So. Can't forget when we had to feed those kittens. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We had to feed those bags of kittens. Snug fuglies, <laughs> winged snug fuglies run on kittens. Um, it's been over a week since Slorm the Inquisitor has had any spice. Um, I'm not feeling so great. You guys. Spricket, I don't know where like where you are on your range of spricket to dicket. My health is at a ten. Mm -hmm. Are we are we starting with new health or are we going? You had Going like you had like a so long boat ride back, and like let's we each revive. You started at twenty. Mm -hmm. You each revive five hit health. Okay. Okay. I'm back to max. Yeah, uh, and, and then you had like a nice flight back to Iridel. I then, was just uh, writing out my shit list. On the top of it is Galgan Moonseer. Mm -hmm. uh, after that is Dickett. Oh. Uh, <laughs> and then there's Warden Elvish, which I got to cross off. Yeah, that guy is. <laughs> did you Indeed. did you kill him? Who killed him? Who killed him? Who got the final blow? I, I sure tried. You did, you did. You I think it was me. I think it was Sprick. I think it was Sprick. We'll have to check. I closed one of that tape. bitch. Oh yeah. <laughs> I never get to say this. Go to the tape. I'm just gonna fucking use all my elvish powers just to lay into him okay, right go. now. 17. Oh shit. I like go to the tape. Go, go to, to the tape. <laughs> but roll the film. Um, all right, so let's get back into this. Um, you park your snug fuglies outside of the city. Um, it's sort of, you're still in like rural area, you didn't want to give too much, uh, you didn't want to fly right into the city. So farms are giving way to like, you start walking in to small outlying villages, uh, and like buildings start popping up and there's like an urban conglomeration, and eventually you wouldn't be able to tell where the city proper begins if it weren't for the old city walls. Mm -hmm. um, so the city guard has a checkpoint to enter and exit, and you see guards patrolling the parapets, and turrets are bristling with ballista, and shiny metal and glass weapons you've never seen before. With ballista. ballista. <laughs> yeah. um, okay. And you notice, um, well, all right, that's that's all. That's all. That's all you get for right now. So mm. you, uh, so you're in this big throng of people who are trying to get through this checkpoint into the city. Um, the traffic in the city does look different. Um, in addition to the usual fruits and vegetables and, and herds of, and of animals, you also notice carts hauling out like. Um, hauling in coal and raw metal ore and fine sand while wagons leaving the city are pulling away like garbage and like slag and like lots more rock and mineral material than you've really seen coming in and out of the city. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's sort of where you are. You're you're at the uh, the checkpoint to the city. Um, what do you do? We're, we can't be seen, right, by the guards yet. No one, no one can see us. Well, I mean, no, 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 no. Like, yeah, you're still like you're right. milling about. Like, you're not we're invisible. Covert. Famous covert. outlaws. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, should we try to hide outlaws. in one of these carts of sand? Mm -hmm. I think we should try in. to acquire some kind of disguise, and it probably wouldn't be Ooh. the worst idea if we sent for an emissary of some sort to get us eyes inside the city. Can we get a message in somehow? Hmm. Really? Really? Do what? we have anything? I got. I got wine. A stage fright and <laughs> a tail. <Yeah. laughs> uh, I don't. I'm sure we can scare up a piece of paper or something and like, is there a, is there a pigeon or something? Mm. You can talk to animals or some shit, right? Like, You're a ranger? I think so. Yeah. Right? Sure. Oh, yeah, I'm a ranger. Mm -hmm. I mean, it depends on, depends on how well you, oh. And an elf. Shoot, where are our dice? Elves can talk oh, to Oh, can I talk to my lizard brethren that roam the fields? Are you? Oh, little lizards. Uh, I mean, maybe. If you, if you, like, they're pretty distant. It'd be like us trying to talk to a monkey. So may maybe uh, if it was a the really smart is, one. Yeah. I, I can talk to the animals, but can they talk to whoever's on the inside and deliver them? No, message? they just need to understand who to go to. Like we must mm. have somebody trusted in there. I'm thinking maybe uh, 
Dag Dagmar Clefjaw. Oh, Dagmar. Right? Yeah. He, uh, I don't. I don't personally handsome, believe that he's guy. in on this thing. Uh, mm -hmm. He's he's never been a, a bad boy, mm -hmm. to my knowledge before. And if we could just get a message to him, we can find out if there's anything he can tell us. Mm. We'll scribble a little note. You send in a little pigeon. Okay. You know, yeah, and we just kind of you know see what happens. Yeah. Anybody have any scrolls on them? You don't have you, yeah. You don't have like pins or paper or anything. Okay. So you would have to like try and find that stuff. Um, yeah, wait, wait, wait. The carts are coming in with supplies. Can we mm -hmm. yank a yank a yank a thing off there? Do you do you want to you want to steal perception? Yeah, why not? Now we're already outlaws, uh, right? Bird wants to steal. Mm -hmm. uh, I would probably just ask for it if I see like a like a dwarf. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you know? actually do. You do see a dwarf. Yeah, a dwarf. you see mm. uh, a dwarven miner coming into the city. Hail there, sir. Uh, his name is Augur Kettlebottom. Oh, Auger. there, traveler. And he's bringing in loads of uh, of copper. Oh. Oh, oh, there, traveler. Well met. Uh, uh, yo, yo. Uh, oh, I'm a dwarf. <laughs> oh! I mean, we can see that you're a dwarf. You yep. don't even have to announce it. I'm a miner. <laughs> <laughs> I've been banging my head on rocks for a lot of, a lot of years. It's really embarrassing. Mm -hmm. right now, I'm a just a miner. <laughs> I don't suppose you I have like a, a quill and a scroll handy. Book <laughs> learning? No. Oh. But I do have a lot of copper. The king keeps asking for copper. Why Can does you? he keep asking for copper? I find this really suspicious. Oh, uh, look. There's a lot of mining stuff going in the city right now. The astronomer royal, this guy Galgan Moonseer, you heard of this guy? Mm -hmm. oh, oh yeah, he's boy. a good boy. Uh, he keeps ordering more copper. We don't have as much copper as he wants. But some people say that he's building something enormous for the king. Mm. Full of whirring brass instruments and fine glass. And other bits of gizmology that I can't possibly comprehend. I don't trust mm. that guy. Hey, could we hitch a ride in your cart? I'm writing a theory on the back We're of this tired. paper. Um, mm. the cart is like, it's like full to the brim of copper, and like it, it's not like something that you could. It's like okay. copper ore. You can't like tunnel into it. It might be pretty um, Chunks of okay. rock and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So no no hitch riding and no. But there, scrolls. I mean, there are a lot of people coming into that city. If you look around, you mm. might be able to meet some friends or something. Can we ask him to deliver a message? Uh, yeah. I mean, you could give him. Uh, yeah, sure. Tell, All right. him, tell him the three gangsters of Airedale are coming for you, Moonseer. Please tell do not that. tell Moonseer. Yeah, don't that. don't tell him that. <laughs> Whatever you do. Yeah. Yeah. Tell the three hot thugs. Mm. No, no. <laughs> you didn't see any three anything. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen Galvin Gangsters! <laughs> no, no. Whoa, what are you talking about, gangsters? <laughs> uh, at the mention of gangsters, you notice somebody in the corner of your eye start fidgeting, uh, like, uh, and looking really nervous. Oh. Mm. Oh, there, fidgety boy. <laughs> you didn't happen to have any paper, would you, or mm. like a quill? Uh, do we have a fidgety boy in the house? There he is. Oh! If I ever had to imagine a fidgety boy, that'd be him. Oh! Huh? Oh, there, Travis! Are you feeling cool today? Oh, well, I'd be feeling what? a lot cooler if I had some spice. You guys chill? You guys want some spice? You can do TS? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Down to spice. Oh, yeah. Who's looking for some spice? That I would be any me. Takers? That would oh, be man. me. Uh, that'll be 30 quid. Uh, I'm good for it. You just stole it from me. Uh, no, no right, I'll, I mean, thank you, you very much. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's your spice. Oh, oh that's okay. your spice. There you go. Awesome. Uh, Is it to your liking? Are you gonna do see. this right now? <sighs> Was it good? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's real good. Oh man. Now that yeah. you've done a little business tra transaction, are you headed into oh, the city? What's your so? name? It could be if you wanted. I'm Mr. Whiskers. Very pleased oh. to meet. Your hand's gross. That's, oh, oh, yeah, that's <laughs> rude. I'm a lizard. Whiskers, my that's bad. Not nice. mm -hmm. My bad. That's all my fault. Um, mm -hmm. So, what are your guys' names? My name's Spricket. Great. Gerd. Gerd. Spricket. Have, have you ever met a, a tall elf by the name of Mike? No, I've been very lonely for a <laughs> long time. <laughs> oh. His well, name is I'm Bobby. Looking. Her name is Linda, and I'm ah. Greg. Oh. Yeah. There's no. We're definitely not the three. <laughs> yeah. Bad just Bobby, outlaw. Linda, and Greg. <laughs> <laughs> just kind of traveling in. Well, just... that's fine by me. We're just a bunch of nice boys. So yeah. you're trying to head into the city? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I know a way. Yeah. If you're, if you're down to check it out, yes. it's just a small. I trust man. this guy. Small tono. Do by you? The name of, <laughs> by the name of uh, uh, Mr. Wister's Spice Tunnel. 
is where I smuggle spice my, tunnels. my sweet spices. If you guys oh. want to check it out, I'll take Wait, it there. Do I ever? What was the, what was the full name? <laughs> what was that? Sorry, Bobby missed it. What was that name? <laughs> it's a uh, Mr. Whiskers Small Spice Tunnel. Ah, small old Spice Tunnel. Yeah. Old spice <laughs> the old, oh, it's the old, the old Spice, spice Tunnel. tunnel. Yeah. The old Small Spice <laughs> Tunnel. The old small <laughs> old. If you guys are down, I can take you there right now. Let's do it. That sounds great. Okay. Okay, I'm sure we Kay. can get a message to Cleftjaw some other time. Um, so <laughs> this, is, so you, uh, this is um, Mr. Tiberius Whiskers. He's a cat guy, oh. obviously. Yeah. Oh, you fucking yeah. cat man. Oh, cat. Okay. <laughs> Am I a cute kitty, guys? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, oh boy, sure are. Um, uh, well, you know, you, um, <laughs> you uh, walk into, Mr. Whiskers leads you into, there's like a, sort of a, a suburbs, you're basically in the suburbs, and it looks like a town. He, he leads you into, Away from the gate and into a tavern, and there's people doing business and stuff. And he sort of gives the motion to the barmaid, and she jerks her thumb back, and they walk uh, to the back of the bar, and they walk down some stairs, and they lift up a trap door, and they go down into a little tunnel. And you guys start making your way uh, into this tunnel. Uh, hey, uh, uh, Bobby. Yes. Can I talk to you Karen? for a second? What, yeah. I don't trust. Yeah, we're, we kind of, I'm going to be honest, I jumped the gun here. He does, he, dr he deals drugs. I mean, he does drugs. What are we, I don't are trust we, why are we either. splitting oh, the hair? trust him. Yeah, we're chill, we're chill, we're chill, we're chill. That was, you nosy your way right into that private conversation. Well, yeah. as a <laughs> cat human, I could hear you easily. Uh, <laughs> from anywhere uh, upwards, you were only five feet away. So, was the and mom, not whispering. Was the mom the cat, or the dad, or the... Uh, neither. Ah. Born in a lab. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, an evil biomancer um, mm -hmm. created him accidentally. Bobby oh. Thornton, 1912. Wow. Oh, yeah, I was in the. I was in my sophomore year with him. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Yeah, he's a dick. <laughs> yeah, he was a. Uh, he was actually my dad. Kinda. I mean, I well, guess when you think about yeah. it. But yeah. Uh, so I'm not offended, but like, stop doing that. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. I understand. Um, so guys, it yes, sure well. is nice to Are meet Mr. W Mr. Whiskers. So uh -huh. nice uh, and you. speaking of Whiskers, I want to take a moment to tell you, good people, about the Dollar Shave Club. <laughs> <laughs> hey! uh, razors, guys, are expensive, and driving the drugs <laughs> drugstore sucks. Uh, Dollar Shave Club delivers razors right to your door, and they're super cheap. I mean, they've got razors, they've got shaving butter, mm -hmm. they've got shampoo and other products to make you look styling and fancy. Um, so here's the deal. Uh, right now, if you go to sign up for Dollar Shave Club with Sorcerer Fed, uh, you can get your first month free. Uh, oh. Just pay shipping, there's no commitment. You don't have to stay in the club, although we'd love it if you did. Um, no no fees or whatever. All you have to do is sign up for, uh, go to dollarshaveclub.com slash D&D. Um, and when you support our sponsors, I'd like to remind you, it helps us make more episodes of Sorcerer Fed. So be sure to check out dollarshaveclub.com slash d and and thank you for supporting Sorcerer Fed. Hey! Oh, Everybody needs to shave. The smoothest transition I've ever uh -huh. seen. Uh, I smoothed the Dollar Shave reasons. Club shave <laughs> with <laughs> shaving butter. Very cool. All right. Um, so, uh, Mr. Whiskers uh, leads you through the tunnels, um, uh, and you sort of take a twist and turn, and you actually feel underneath you more than more than seeks. It's pretty dark, like the weight of the city walls. So you know you've passed into mm -hmm. the city, mm -hmm. um, and then you see a light um, start to open up. The tunnel gets less like dank and weird, and it starts to get warmer and drier. And it sort of opens up into what looks like a fairly nice hall, um, wherein you see uh, a half giant, his feet kicked up on a desk. There's an oil lamp burning. There's a there's a couple of other characters sort of dispersed around the room. There's like a little wizard kind of looking guy. There's like a little gnome um, kind of kind of kind of dude, um, and um, and when they see you walk in uh, with Mr. Whiskers, this uh, fellow, this uh, what did I say he was a, a half a half giant, giant fellow, like slams his hands down on the table and stands up and is fucking. Curious. Oh no! Why do you know this guy, Mr. Yeah. Whiskers? How dare you bring these people into my underground lair? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I'm so sorry. I just, I, I, they looked cool. We need to expand our, our operation. I just figured, you know, they're strong, they're bulky. I'm Who do you think I am, man? Are you cold? What's my name? I'm cold. My name is Pablo Escobar Barian, man, <laughs> <laughs> and I am the boss 
of the mafia here in Garrett's Rest. You are not the boss. I didn't mean no nothing, no Are harm. you the boss or am I the boss? You're the boss. Whoa, Damn whoa, straight. whoa. Sir, sir, please calm down. We're here to help. Whatever you need, we can work something out. You scratch our back, we'll scratch yours. Do you think you can help me? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'll make you a deal. <laughs> what? <laughs> I like it. Uh-huh. <laughs> you can get into I, I'll let you into the city of Garrett's Rest if you do me some favors. Uh, mm. Okay, that sounds what a little sketchy. Of, what kind of favors? No, trust him. Listen. Okay. All you got to do is make 3 simple deliveries for me of spice mm. to mm. different areas of the city to earn my trust. And once the spice deliveries are done, you pick up the money, you bring it back here, I let you into the city. Well, if we're already in the city once we have the spice, what's to stop us from just getting to <laughs> Pablo's trust goes a long <laughs> way. Can My giant she, fucking she, mafia. She, and then like, <laughs> at that, the, uh, the, the magic looking guy stands up and he casts, uh, like, he just looks at you and your feet start to get warm. Ooh, I feel a little tingly they in my feet. They start to get. Oh, he's got that foot warming spell. <laughs> they start to get nice. hotter. Hotter? Yeah. Ooh, anybody got a, a nice he's doing, cold He's washcloth? doing the old, the old hot <laughs> foot. <laughs> he's taking this so hair. You take one damage, take it a little hotter. Oh no! Hey, hey what's going on here? The Diet Triara toes, spell. My toes what's up are with their toasty. feet? That is just a lesson for you, my friend. Oh my gosh. Why not try to double cross me? He's uh, gonna give us hot feet. There's oh, a chance no. you can do that same spell on me. I'm real cold right now, I'm jonesing. Yeah, uh, that's that's probably the lamest spell I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this uh, guy sucks. He yeah, could have made mean, it. <laughs> personally, I'm not super worried about it. I'm a powerful It goes wizard. making <laughs> it brighter in the room and yeah. then making your feet hot. <laughs> 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 no, this is for you, uh, uh, Um, uh, uh, the wizard uh, got a lot of instructions on that that we probably should not see. Yeah. The wizard slash priest is a guy. Uh, he looks at you and he's like, he sees that you're a magic user. He's not super intimidated because he's got a whole mafia here, but he knows that you're probably more powerful than he is. Ah, oh. yeah, but, that's right. We're the three. No, we're Bob just we're and nobody. We're Robin, just Jane, are. and Billy. Yep. Uh huh. <laughs> Nobody so, special, don't pay attention to us. <laughs> so what did you say? Do you want to make this deal with me or, or what, Yeah, man? let's fucking do it. You had to deal with spice, man. Right. Can I make one request? Uh, you can make a request, I don't have to grant it. No, no, just a little, a little, que- a little cue on a throw. Just here. one little cue. If you let us in the city, can we get a few, maybe like use a shower or maybe grab some food? We're kind of running low. Also, we can use some weapons and yeah. some extra Yeah, we're gonna need supplies. If we're gonna be yeah. carrying your supply, we're gonna need supplies of our own. What if somebody tries to rob oh, our supplies? Oh, so we'll ask we'll do a barbarian, it. like, leans back and goes, <laughs> I like this guy! Yeah. yeah! All right, you go take a sponge bath in the bag, my friend. Hey. Um, Bo- Bobby is gonna go take a shower in the bag. Bo- Bobby, no one. <laughs> um, so while he's taking a shower, you, you can all like take showers. Right. Uh, so you oh. now don't have negative one to your charisma. You don't smell like fish, oh, guts, and shit, and prison piss anymore. Yay! Mm. Prison piss. Um, and while he's doing that, like, you all. It doesn't give you like super good weapons because let's be honest, he doesn't trust you. Mm-hmm. Um, and you're also carrying his. You're going to be carrying a spice, but he gives you like I don't know, like a like a couple of rusty daggers and um, yeah, you got a, a couple of rusty daggers and like a um, a magic stick. Remember, uh, if your bath wasn't good enough, I've got this tongue, and it can do a whole lot, uh, you guys. I think Jeez, I'm good. Man, whiskers it's, is really it's fucking over. Really, <laughs> um, so um, he informs you that you have three deliveries to make. Okay. All you have to do is deliver the drugs, get the money, come back, you go to the city. Hmm. I think that uh, I think that our friend Bobby right here, he should be the one to handle the spice because he's the most experienced with it. What do you think? I think that's a great idea. Mm-hmm. Cool. And don't worry, I'm gonna have Mr. Whiskers go with you guys because I don't trust you guys. You guys okay. trust Mr. Whiskers? We're always in yeah. town with each other. Boom! Oh. Now that I'm Mr. Whiskers, we're always in town right. at the same time. Who's a good boy? Me a good boy. That's right. Mr. Whiskers, yeah. <laughs> I, please do fan art of Mr. Whiskers. I'm so excited. Um, uh. All right, so the first place that uh, Mr. Whiskers knows around, the first place he takes you um, to deliver drugs is uh, is the fraternity row at the University for <laughs> Noble Fellows and Magical Fops. He's got uh-huh. some like tool bags if I'm allowed to be preemptive. So you roll you roll up to a fraternity and uh, you you knock on a you knock on a door. Hey, knock, knock, knock. Hello. 
Yo, what's the secret password? Spice! Yeah, yeah Spice, bro! <laughs> he opens yeah. up and like, again, bro fists you. <laughs> what up? How's it going, Whisk? Yeah, I was about to say, how you been, dog? Uh, my name's not dog, you're a cat. Okay, that's right. <laughs> Every hey. week. Ba, ba, Why is everyone in this town such a dick? <laughs> <laughs> um, this is... Is he a bully? Everyone in this town is, it seems. <laughs> uh, this is Chad Brolington the third. Chad! Oh, <laughs> oh no! Um, uh, yo, you got my spice. Hey, yeah, you got your spice, dog. Uh, mm-hmm. All right, and he gives you, he gives you, clink, 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 money. Give you a little pinch of spice. There you go. Can I get some of that too? Huh? Can I get some of that too? Oh yeah, for sure. Oh yeah, shit yeah. Guys, it's... I don't think that we should be getting high on, uh, on your own oh, supply. Okay, well. <laughs> All right. No one's gonna notice a little bit missing. You guys are hella tight. Y'all wanna oh. roll in and do some shots? Yeah! You're sure you're okay with that OD? Yeah, it's fine. Let's okay, do cool. some shots. I mean, look, we should probably like I bet there's a, chill it a out lot. by the third delivery, but this is just the first <laughs> yeah. one. Yeah. We got plenty of time. I bet there's mm-hmm. a lot of young men in there. I don't there. know about this Maybe one, Maybe a man guys. by the name of Mike? Have uh, you seen a Mike in we your have, fraternity? Uh, no, we have Chad. We have, um... Bryce, mm-hmm. we have Dakota. Uh, Chet. We got a Chet in there. We got Chet, oh, Chet mm-hmm. Trav. We got uh, Trav. We got Curve. Mm-hmm. Curve. <laughs> All these people are making me kind of nervous. I think I gotta um, stay uh, outside of this whole. Do you guys want to like join like any frat oh, games? You just oh, yeah, out. I want to. I want to play some uh, potion. Mead pong. Yeah, potion pong. All right, well, we can play some mead pong. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. All right, let's play mead pong. Uh, I'm doing some <laughs> stuff right now. I don't know if I can do all this social social interaction. Just chill. Just chill. No, I'll just chill. Yeah. yeah. Just have a little have a little sniff. That'll just chill do you right all out. of it. All right. So yeah. in order to play meat pong, you need a d6. Here, I'll give you a d6. Um, and we're each uh, we're gonna each play against each other. Uh, there are okay. six cups in mead pong, and you have to aim for one of the cups. So if you roll your die and you don't get it right, you drink what's in the cup. Kill. And if you get it right, then I have to drink. Okay. All right. Ready? Mm-hmm. One, two, three. Oh, sorry. What what are you aiming for? Oh, me? Yeah. I'm aiming for the uh, top cup on the left. So that's top cup on the left. That's one, two, three, four. You're aiming for four, and I'm going to aim for three. Okay. All right. This is a real weird thing. I got five. Three. All right, so we each do a shot. Yay! Uh, let's, let's do it. Let's, let's, let's oh shoot my out. god, I am so drunk right now. Mm. Off of wow. one? <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you want to play some more beer pong? Mm. <laughs> yeah. All right, one more. Uh, I'm going to shoot for one. I'm going to mm. shoot for two. I got three. Ah, oh, one. I All keep right. getting yours. Mm. Mm. Glug. All right, Glug. Mm. I'm, I'm starting to have I'm second having, thoughts about this. Yeah, it's I'm having the best time. I want to stay here with these college boys. Deal that we need to kind of get a uh, move on with. <laughs> I don't like to leave a party until I'm the last person at a party. Listen, one more, one more. You are <laughs> becoming a complication to the whole like. Mission. One more, and then we gotta go. Hey. The, the neighborhood watch. Yeah, you want to do one more? Let's do one, one more. more. Right. One more. Uh, okay. I'm aiming for six this time. I'm aiming for three. Okay. I got six. Five. Ah, oh, shoot. So you, you do two shots. Glug, glug. Wow, I'm fucked up. Yeah. Oh no. Wow, guys. <laughs> <laughs> We're not doing liquor. You're just like drinking like half a beer on each one. So you're not like okay. super fucked up, but you're. Pretty I am an elf buzzed. though. I'm pretty small. Yeah. Um, I'm a yiddle yell. Yo, Whisker, seeing it same time next week. Yeah, I guess, man. Your, your friends are sweet, man. You really Goodbye, mean it? Boys. They're my new friends, so I guess, uh, do we get the deal underway? Yeah, or money. Should we do that yeah, now? Yeah, no, what happened? We did it. We, no, got we, did, the it. we did the deal. Cool. Yeah, I got the rest of the got spice. The okay. Um, Let's get on to that second place. Where are we headed next? And the next place you're going is um, Studio 5D4, oh, which no. is a tavern and nightclub. Ta- Studio 5D4. I'm oh, I used to dance. hang out here all the time. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> it seems like your place. Yeah. Um, so you you roll up to 5D4 and like a tall, thin, ethereal, uh, like elvish guy with like big, <gasps> crazy white hair comes up to you, um, and he's like dressed all in black, and he's like, Ah, yes, whiskers. Good, good, good to see you. Um, <laughs> I'm Andy Warlock, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> I just need to get my spice for my, you know, for my dancers yeah, back yeah, here, sure, or whatever. Sure. Yeah. yeah, 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 for sure, yeah, for sure. Yeah. And Hi, like Andy. Music... My name's Brickett. Hello. Hi. No, you are not. Can you nice please to meet Linda. you. Okay, okay, yeah. It doesn't matter. Thank I know you. Andy. Uh, Andy. <laughs> Andy. Andy. What's up? We got Andy. We got your Andy. You got your money on you. And you got your little he coins. Pulled, he pulls a fancy, really fancy pocketbook. And he's like, oh, oh, a little tray, a little tray, little spice. Uh, okay, that seems listen, simple Andy. enough. There's like, there's dancers, 
dancing in the background. There's like a magical floating um, mirrored ball oh with like candles on it, and there's Gerd. Like, yeah. I mean, Bo Bobby, mm -hmm. that dancer's looking at you, dude. I that, don't trust that this hot place, ogre, you guys. <laughs> cage dancer. <laughs> she's a babe. You she's not actually hi. a cage dancer. She's just In being a cage. held captive. <laughs> <laughs> cage, so. yeah, there's like, actually going a weird to be place. there's going to be a, a runway show if you'd like to to model and to participate in our runway show later yeah, tonight. Yeah, guys, here let's do it, guys. You're this, just saying that because so you're tall. tall. I want to be a model. Do Listen, get this, do what you if Mike's in the audience? Do you guys remember how Galgan Moonseer tried to kill us and also stripped us of our weapons and birthright and also, uh, it's is like really dangerous for us to be here? I don't know if I told you guys this, he had all this like magical ruins things flying around his body that you guys couldn't really I see. I felt a lot of demonic presence and, and I'm very other... curious what's going on with all this metal coming in and out of this place. What's going on it's with that? It's very otherworldly. This conversation bores me, leave my nightclub. Fucking okay, Andy great, Warlock. thanks a lot guys, we missed the fashion show. Could have gotten a new career. I think we got a. Here. I could have gotten. Remember that discovered. the deal was good. Yeah, deal's we good. Yeah, so far so good. All right. So you leave uh, the nightclub, which is in a really bumping part of town, um, and then, <laughs> <laughs> um, and and Whiskers, Mr. Whiskers, tells you that um, you've got one last delivery, and he starts taking you like off into side streets and from side streets into alleys, and you realize that you're in, you're coming into like the the, the gutters be narrows slum. Ooh. Um, I can climb fences. There are um, sure can, cool story. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there I are fewer streetlights on. It's like dark. Oh, who it's, cares? It's quiet. It's getting creepy. That's cool, it's, actually. it's a slum. Um, you hear like glass breaking in the background, and a cat goes, Ow! and it's like creepy. Dad, here. Do you know that cat? Dad? Yeah, actually, that's not my dad. dad? That's a uh, that small dice cat <laughs> from uh, the the che cheery tribe. Oh. Yeah. Oh. We don't talk much since you know the, all the accidental stuff that happened, but like we're chill still, kind of. Yeah. If we want to hang out, we can, but we don't. So I don't know. We should pass him up, or we could talk to him. What do you guys think? Mm, I want to pet him. Would okay. he be offended? Let's go over to him. What up, dog? How you been? Yeah, these are my friends. Uh, this is actually who we're gonna be dealing drugs to. Oh, so oh hello. Oh, okay. hello, sir, you're right. I like your cute pink nose. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wait, what the hell? Wait, this is a real cat and you're a cat person? Yeah. <laughs> all right, that's really fine. I'm not judging. While, while, okay. <laughs> while you're all, like, paying attention to the cat and petting the cat and talking about this, um, roll a perception check. Did you get this in trouble? Uh, it does a d20. 15. 18. I got a three. <laughs> Holy shit! Uh. Eighteen. All right. <laughs> so somehow, uh, while this is all happening, um, you uh, none of you notice that you are um, being slowly like cased out, except for uh, Spriggett. So Spriggett, you're the only one that notices this. What? Um, what is it? And then all of a sudden, you hear uh, like. A tin can like falls from a box around the corner or something, and you hear the pitter patter of little feet mm. running away. No! What's up, Mr. Whiskers? <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 and and Spricket, you see, uh, you, you whip around because you had the highest perception, and you see um, a halfling um, mm. who snuck up on you trying to pick your pocket. <gasps> Oh, this is a bad part of town, guys. But there's nothing. There's nothing in there. Hey, and hey, you, you <gasps> halfling, what? Uh, little halfling bitch. Uh, what? Oh what? Hey, I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to pick a pocket. Sorry. Yeah, you're sorry. What are you gonna do? <laughs> what are you gonna do for us? I'm gonna do this. Bah! And he like scared. Me. <laughs> 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 He's got tap shoes on too. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Can we roll to not be terrified? <laughs> yeah, how, how scared do we get? <laughs> I rolled a 20. I got a, a 9. I got a 1! <laughs> oh, really so you're terrified? You. <laughs> I'm so scared! Spricket falls down on her butt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I fell on my bottom! Uh, you're super not terrified. <laughs> but, you back. but because you're super not terrified, you check your pockets and you you realize that you've been pickpocketed. <gasps> Dudes, we cannot be pickpocketed. We're carrying money for uh, Pablo you, Escobar. Has anybody else yeah, checked their pockets yet? I'm gonna check what? my pockets. Hey. Oh, you don't need a, you don't need a dice. Oh, okay. I am uh, uh, money. It's all gone. Yeah, uh, it's all gone. has powers. Snuggles has powers. Mm -hmm. It's not Mr. Snuggles. Um, <laughs> <laughs> may I please She's roll to use claw frenzy against yeah. the what? Against the person who stole stuff. 
Uh, sure. Yeah. He went back and he ran away. Yeah. So. Yeah. He ran away. <laughs> oh, he already ran away. He's gonna claw at the air. Okay. Or yeah. Can I roll to claw at the air, please? Yes. Uh, yeah, is this is a try I don't know. All right. That's a what three. is it? A three. three. So you, I minor claw at the air. You, cool. You minor claw at the air and your hair stands on end. Uh, <laughs> can we can we try this? Uh, so, yeah. Do you do you know this town very well? <laughs> Mr. Whiskers suggests that you that you go. He says, Mr. Whiskers says to you, I I know who that was. That was yeah. Who was that little asshole? That, yeah. That was a member of the halfling. Cartel. He was at the bar when halfling we first showed cartel. up. Mm. There was a wizard. There was a halfling, and there was a, a half giant. No, there was a no. It was a, that was a that was a gnome. Completely a gnome, different gnome, gnome uh, halfling. I don't know. I can't tell them apart. You oh, racist. Oh, that's racist. Mm-hmm. Um, da, 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 da. <laughs> we have to go get our money back, don't we? <laughs> yes, we do. Let's go. Let's hop to it. I will use my lizard sense. This is going to be a real dangerous of mission, smell. you guys. I use my less sense of what smell. What are you doing? He just said that he knows who it is and where he is. Where yeah, is he? Yeah, but he What's ran away. Name? He's at my my mom's house. <laughs> you know oh, exactly this will be where easy where then. Is. We'll just go, knock, and well, say, that's where I the, thought you were a test you. tube cat person. He's at my, ta- my mom's test tube house, dog. <laughs> and we can just go there right now. Uh, yeah, she'll understand. a little understand. bit north of here. I have, um, uh, actually, I can see in the dark is my one of my other special abilities, so... <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Whiskers uh, had a little bit too much spice, I think. <laughs> he's got a lot of ideas. And while <laughs> while he's babbling, you realize that he might be a little high and a little terrified because of the repercussions. He's terrified because of the repercussions um, of having all of your money, because at the end of your mission, all of your money has been stolen and all of the rest Pablo's of the spice has so been mad. stolen. Oh yeah, Pablo's he's gonna, gonna be, be really so mad. mad at you, dude. What are you gonna do? And, and you us. Not us. <laughs> should probably go back and let him know that you were, that this rival gang Stole from you. What if we just? What? Why don't we, we go for it? If you guys yeah. tell him that, and I'll just stand behind. No. What if we went just for the gang? Yeah. And did Pablo didn't need to know? Um. Pablo can't know. Uh, if Pablo knows, he's gonna kill our asses. Or just he said, me. He said that me. he's. Uh, it's just at his mom's house, so she'll understand. We have these like crummy what? ass weapons, man. <laughs> yeah, but I got a tail that can rip through the reality. I mean, I got sweet ass magic. Yeah. I have night vision. I got cool hair. <laughs> got cool hair. <laughs> Claw frenzy. I think we can handle it. Yeah. That's basically, the Power Rangers. Let's do it. Okay. Yay! All right. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um. So. Um. Is there any way that you can use your sense of smell to find where that little goblin went? That's what I was saying. Yeah. I thought. I thought Mr. No, Whisper I'm very said high. He knew. Okay. <laughs> Extraordinary. No, no, really. All right. <laughs> can I get some more of that dog? <laughs> oh, for sure. So yeah. Guys, so don't finish you guys the spice decide don't collectively have the money. to go against an entire gang, just uh-huh. the four of you. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. That mm-hmm. seems smart. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Um, and uh, you're gonna engage in gang war on behalf of a. Boss, you don't know. That's right. Three hot thugs and and whiskers. We're not able to elicit the help of anyone else. I mean, well, you could if if you um. Uh, I went back to Pablo. Oh man. Mm. I don't know, you guys. What do you think? I, I think mean, we could probably we could probably use some help because we don't really know what we're up against. I don't mean all to right, be. Let's yeah. Get yeah. Up. yeah. I mean, you can go all, you can go after them if you want to. That's um, boy, that's your decision. I mean, how big is this gang? If they're all halflings. Yeah, what do we need like, to know? I'm like yeah. seven feet tall. Mm. I got Mr. Right, so Mr. Whiskers knows a little bit about this gang. Tell him us. Tell For us some reason, actually, he knows a lot about this gang. The thing oh. is, they all have long arms, and they're all extremely strong. Just because they're halflings doesn't mean that they don't matter. <laughs> this is. These are weird creatures. <laughs> 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 they have long arms. They have long arms, but they're very small, but, though. But <laughs> unlike unlike Pablo's gang, which is made up of a lot of like ruffians and and tough guys, uh, but it's like not a huge number. This is a huge number of halflings that are mm. uh, infiltrated throughout the entire city. Just a just a like. Dozens and dozens and dozens. And all showmen. All right. (laughs) (laughs) Let's just go back to Papa Pablo. I'm sure he'll understand that you guys have probably run into gang wars before. So let's just go and, and, you know, we can, uh, Gord can, Slurm can. I screwed over Pablo once before. I don't think he's going to be too happy with me, bro. What did he do to you the the first time? That could happen. He cut off my tail. That's why I have poor balance issues. (laughs) <laughs> I have balance items, guys. We have noticed You're that. the worst cat man on earth. <laughs> All I have are my ears now and my sight and, and my your claws. Whiskers. Yeah, your whiskers. And, 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 a, lot whiskers. Other things. and a lot of other cat features minus <laughs> <laughs> the tail. All right, so I need a decision. Uh, which, which, what do you, All what right, you guys want to do? Let's, let's go, go to, get an army. Let's go to Pablo and let's see Pablo. if we get some better weapons okay. to deal with these guys. All right, so you go you go to Pablo and, um, and he's furious. Uh, you have been, he tells you that you've been robbed. By agents of uh, Don Bilbo Corleone, the Hobfather, nice. uh, oh. leader of the Halfling Cartel, 
and Pablo declares all-out war against the halfling cartel. He says, for too long I have, su I have suffered the insults and slights of these halflings who think they can muscle in on my business. Can you imagine a halfling muscling in on anything? You okay, man? You sound uh, different. <laughs> I'm pissed off, man. <laughs> Sorry, you're emotional. I didn't mean to get so, it. So, like, we tried our best. You. <laughs> you can you can keep your end of the deal, right? Are we chill? Like, we tried. We only did like twenty percent of the drugs that we were supposed to sell. Oh, I, I shouldn't have said that out loud. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I do not have a triple beam balance in my office to measure how much drugs you sold. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I had to take your word for it that all the the drugs were stolen. Oh, balance. You know that's my trigger word. Trust? Balance. Balance. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so he, he says, like, all of us tonight will wage war on the gang of the Halfling Cartel. Oh, everybody, Bobby, Karen, and... Yeah. Oh, you're coming yeah. with me, my friend. The, the, sweet, the three no, nobodies. You will see this to the end. That don't know nothing. Oh, okay. good. Okay. Um, so let's leave it at there until the next episode. You are preparing to wage gang war, uh, drug gang war in the streets of er uh, Garrett's Rest in Aradell. Uh. Um, so, um, before we go, uh, I just want to remind you guys, we would love to see some fan art. Hey! Mm -hmm. um, so be sure, we're gonna, we have a, we, we will have a thread in our subreddit, hopefully, for D for uh, Sorcerer Fed. It's right there! Uh, it's right there! <laughs> there it is! It's well, right, how about that? Right there! It's right there! Um, go there and leave your fan art. We had one amazing piece of fan art in the past week mm -hmm. um, from Lara underscore TB, uh, TH85, who show, um, we'll, we'll show this on the screen, who has uh, Spricket. With the head of her ex-boyfriend, yeah. Mike. So buff, by the way. Yeah. I love that that decision, that artistic choice, that I'm a buff lady. And Your not, axe is like really accurate. It's awesome. Accurate. Yeah. Accurate. Mm -hmm. accurate. Mm -hmm. Not canon, because I haven't found Mike yet, but maybe that's a request. But you look Ooh. like maybe, a mm. maybe she wants me to kill Depends off. Depends on that how it Mike. goes when you find him, I guess. Yeah. I mm -hmm. guess if I ever do. <laughs> um, so thank you guys for watching. Be sure to leave your fan art. And until next time. Cheerio, mates, and let's, let's have another, another round of buddies and, and pals. We got there. Yeah, we got it. Bye. Bye. My tail is razor sharp, and if it gets cut off, it grows back twice as sharp. And this is infinite. It could cut right through uh, reality or time itself. But which I really hope that goes into the game. But wow, wow, wow. My weakness is stage fright. <laughs> as well uh, as there we go, dark magic, uh, yeah. which leads to severe urination, which could scare off predators. I'm not a big fan we'll of dark see. magic either, so I think we'll get along fine. All right. <laughs>